Ray James had had the idea of developing a chalet of some kind for tourists and Ray James had chose Serpentine Gorge area and he developed the idea of having a, a cement dam across there to make a swimming hole and also put in a lot of money and developed very good infrastructure, tanks up on the hills, uh, big uh, accommodation, big kitchen area and all this sort of thing. Those days the, the road was shocking road, it, it was bulldust, was, you know, it nearly half a metre deep. You'd be going through this and you couldn't see your passengers in the back of the coach and everything was just covered in bulldust when you got to, got to your camp and the clothes were covered and it went right through your suitcases and cameras were filled up with dust. Well, we called it Serpentine Gorge, but it's not actually Serpentine. The gorge where it is is we call it Bukhara. And the Serpentine's back this way, just to the eastern side of it. And the uh, only big problem there was water. But in 1959, we, we built a dam out there. They sent up two concreters from Melbourne, two Italian uh, concreters. The trouble was it would not hold water very well, this thing. And what it did was it had a leak in the rock as well as it also had silting up problems and the sand just silted up instantly and you had to dig the sand out by hand. But it was a great little spot. It's, uh, the views were great and uh, but the only the problem was the water. That was the biggest problem. And, uh, see, in the early days, in the, the tourist industry up here was only seasonal work. It was from May through to September and the camps closed down after that and they had caretakers looking after them. And uh, everybody came back each year, but a lot of people came back every year just to work up in Central Australia. But uh, no, the accommodation was pretty good there. It was, they were good places, and it was great. We had some great times. So it was popular for a very short time. Just was probably too early and not a good location in many ways, and it folded after about a decade at the outside, I think.